August 8th, 2018 at 6 p.m. And just a reminder that this is a public meeting that's being video and audio recorded by cable broadcast and internet posting on uh, the Dighton webpage. And if you'd all join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. have a moment of silence for retired health agent Joseph Pacheco's wife, Jean Pacheco. Thank you. Any public input? Not yet. <laughs> New business. Review, discuss, and act. Friends of the Dighton Library food permit waiver request. <clears throat> this is for the taste of Dighton. This is dear Board of Health members. The Friends of the Dighton Public Library will once again be hosting their annual Taste of Dighton. This year it will be held Monday, September 17th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Lions Club Pavilion behind Town Hall. This is one of the biggest, most successful fundraisers that the Friends Group puts on each year. <coughs> we are looking to request that the Friends of the Dighton Public Library pay for one temporary food permit for the event, and that the Board of Health will waive the requirement for the individual vendors. All serve safe requirements, allergen certificates, and proof of liability insurance of the participating vendors will be submitted <coughs> before the event. Is that office upstairs? Get up we thank you for your consideration of our request and look forward to hearing. Look forward to another very successful fundraiser this year. I think that's what we did last year. Because yep. all the vendors have a license <coughs> already. Well, one of them needs a license, but they all have a license already. So. And when she submits that, she submits it all at one, mm -hmm. all of each trickle in. Or? Um, actually, what she did was she submitted. She's on her game. <laughs> that's yeah. good. That's good. This form that's the people who are going to be there. Give everyone's information except this fork in the road. She came in, I'm sorry, it's not fork, fork and spoon. Fork and spoon. Um, the certificate of liability was a little different. I wasn't actually wanted you guys to look at this. So, Ros went through them all. We had most of the mm. certificates of liability yeah. and everything on file already so perfect I'll, I'll make the motion to uh, approve the request I'll step down and second that any further discussion uh, are we doing the full price or is it the reduced amount I guess we'll do one for all of them so the $35 okay, okay. yeah okay. discussion okay. all those in favor of Motion to allow the Friends of the Dighton Public Library one food permit. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Next on the agenda, review, discuss, and act the Dighton Fire Association food permit waiver request. Dighton Fire Association. The Dighton Fire Associ Association will be hosting the second annual Touch a Truck event on Saturday, September 8th, on the grounds of the Manheim, New England Auto Auction on William Street, North Dighton. Our event is being held for Grant Medeiros, three year old boy from Dighton. Grant was diagnosed with acute leukemia and has undergone a bone marrow transplant and is currently in recovery. The Dighton Fire Association is collecting donations on his behalf. The Dighton Daisy Brownie Troop. 82230 will be giving out, not selling, lemonade and collecting donations to donate to the Madeira's family. The Dighton Fire Association will file out necessary permits and the troop will operate under Tom Madeira's serve safe certification. We are requesting the board to waive any permit fee that would be associated with this. Also be advised the Dighton Fire Association has pur purchased event insurance and at this time we are awaiting our rider. 
Sincerely, Tommy Dearest, President of the Indian Fire Association. Oh. Is something wrong with that? Hmm? Yeah, it says Monday, but... Saturday. It's supposed to be Saturday. All right, we'll just, that's easy to fix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've got months to fix it, so... Yeah, so this is a, um, a fundraiser. I actually mentioned to Roz, we could actually do a couple ways. You could actually, on a fundraiser, you could just do like the potluck event where they just state that they don't, um, hasn't been inspected. Um, but I'm, I'm fine with this. I, uh, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the Dayton Fire Association Food Permit Waiver request. Step down, second it. All those in favor? Oh, I'm sorry, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So we'll I'll wait. edit that and we can sign it Monday or Tuesday time. if you guys can stop in. Next item, if you discuss an act to health agent about to sign civil engineering degree. So apparently it, it's bizarre, it came through with the year and the paperwork that says if you've got an associate's degree, you get four hundred dollars a year if you get a math bachelor's of eight hundred and right. twelve hundred for masters. I have a bachelor's degree, so I guess the board needs to let vote to mm -hmm. kick that up to the fourth <coughs> thing. Didn't know about it. So. Oh, all right. That was in the job description? It wasn't in the job description. It's in the contract. Oh all right. So that's just <coughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I have a motion to Yeah, I'll make a motion to what is it to um, Submit to the selectmen? Uh, the accountant the approval? Accountant, I think. I uh, believe so, yes. Yes, I believe the selectmen have to acknowledge <coughs> it before the counter accountant will act on it. So, okay, so yes. it goes to this one of their meetings. Okay. Just, uh, recommend? A motion to recommend payment to our health agent for his bachelor's degree to the selectmen for approval of the accountant. So moved. Step down, second it. <laughs> Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's why it pays to read things. It's good. That's right. You discuss an act, North <laughs> Dighton Health Concern. I know this is new. <laughs> it's supposed we, to be under old. Yeah, I would assume so. Um, we haven't had any new reports, as far as I know. Quiet. Had a barn application come in. We did have a barn application come in for 195 Chase Street. Um, so, and he now has three goats, <laughs> which would be interesting. Sure. So, but we, we don't have heard anything. Haven't heard anything or more no calls. Calls, no. No calls. So there's been some baits and traps up, but we haven't. I haven't seen anything. In the Good. Right now we're just kind of monitoring. Good. That's all we got. Great. That's excellent. Okay. Next time, if you discuss an act, the will set stormwater discharge and fines. As part of the stormwater um, subcommittee, uh, there was discussion about these illicit discharge and fines for people who have tie-ins to like a catch basin in the street from a sump pump or a laundry or that kind of thing. Uh, Billy Inspector and I have been trying to work on this, but it's been a matter of finding time because we've seemed to have a whole bunch of other little things that keep popping up. So we've started the discussion, but we don't have anything final, formal to submit in front of the, the board right now. That's fine. reason why it's difficult is it takes collaboration of a few different departments because um, Mr. Ferry's department is involved uh, in uh, the discovery process. So um, we, we did try a couple occasions to meet. We actually tried again today. So we're, we're making progress, but uh, we still need a little more time to give you something formal. Right. Uh, so I guess tabling. Yep. Do you want your motion to table us until do you want our next meeting or do you want to push it to sep uh, next like the end of September? Away, so. I'm on vacation. Oh. So we probably. Our second go, meeting in yeah. September? Okay. Uh, motion. I'll next make a motion to uh, put, uh, table this item for. October, October meeting. meeting? It'd be October 10th. October 10th. Thank you. Do you already have like, you have regulations that say? 
who worked on the right, no, I've given, I had given uh, Tom something right. from Freetown. Right. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, we did. So the Stormwater Committee is, is working on that. Um, but I think what we'd like to do is have a fine policy in place to deal with the habitual offenders that we have right now while we're crafting a regulation. So Perfect. Okay. Must have done second the motion. Any other discussion? None. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Old business. We discussed an act <coughs> proposed regulation changes. And I think uh, we're going to table this. This is basically the same thing. Um, again, we've had some other things that have popped up. Um, and um, I went on a vacation, too. So, um, yeah. And I there. think Tom has given us some dates to go forward yep. Yep. to meet up. The good news is, though, is as time is going on here, more and more things kind of pop their head up as, hey, we should put this in the regulation. Something Goodness. today came up. And Add to so, it. Yeah. Yep. So it's it's kind of working itself. Now, when you know you're in that mode, you're kind of absorbing it all. So I know we're definitely trying to, well, I know I'm looking to get the cesspools out. Do you see a lot of Title fives with cesspools? No. Does anyone pass? There haven't been very many that I've seen. Okay. But which I probably a lot of wind up failing just because of the groundwater. Yeah. I've actually had um, at least one that's passed in the last yeah, 10 because years. Because they can. So they can pass. Um, the Rare. groundwater flow. It's for that new person that has right. a bigger family. You never know. Right. Right? Yep. So, you know, I mean, obviously, myself, I put in the reports to make sure the buyer knows that it's, it's accepted statewide, so we don't have any specific regulation. No. A lot of towns are making that so I wouldn't see that you would be standing alone if you did that so so I will uh, choose a date to have a workshop <coughs> at some point in the next month uh, we'll go through. Until the next well do you want to deal with scheduling a workshop and then do the regulation change after <coughs> it or what do you want to do um, the 6th September 6th September 6th would be a Thursday night at 6 o'clock Sure. All right, it's not a meeting week for us, so it'd be right before yeah. our meeting. So, okay, September 6th at 6 o'clock. Okay. Next item review, discuss and act 800 Center Street. Uh, last time at our last meeting, we went over with the board some of the conditions of approval for their temporary um, modified pipe tank that they got on the property. So, I had drafted a letter, I think I I've sent individually to you guys this, this language, so you've seen it. Mm -hmm. I reached out to the person who lives at the property um, to educate them on what I was going to do before we did it in case there was some strenuous objection to something or something that they couldn't meet. Um, but they did not respond to us in, enough in advance of the meeting tonight in order to weigh in on it. So if the board wants, um, you guys can sign the letter and we can send it out, or we can wait. Um, until I've had an opportunity to talk to the homeowner. Yeah, because this is, uh, last last minute I remember, this is the same letter we read and we got approved. Well, you approved for me to go talk to the, um, talk to the, the property owner about it before we okay. initiated it. I think it's, it's more than reasonable. Fall, I mean, everything falls under state title five. It's very reasonable, I think. Yeah, there's nothing dramatic in here. No. The, the conditions of approval is you, yeah, you can't keep the tight tank if you're going to add a bedroom or right. if you're going to, when you sell the property. You, you get the alarms and everything on it. It's, yep. it. Most of it is all related to what would occur if you were to put a tight tank in. Now it's new. The only big issue is the amount of water they're using with how little they pumped out of it. And that right. is something we're going to have to monitor. Mm -hmm. But without any alarms or anything, and it's there's no way of knowing what's going on. So, yeah, the weather hasn't changed, right? So I'm nope. fine with it. Yeah, I think it's completely acceptable. So you're just looking for our signature? Well, you got to vote, I guess, on it, or are we voting on it? Are we voting on it? I don't know if we did. I think I think you might have said it was okay. I don't know if we'll be voting on it. But. And obviously, you just be voting to issue the letter prepared right. by your agent, and then off it goes. I'm pretty sure we voted to send it, what, send it off. I don't remember if there was a vote. Mm -hmm. well, I don't it's a good thing our recording secretary is up to date with them doing our minutes. <laughs>
800 Center, a draft letter of 800 Center Street was reviewed by the board. It was decided the health agent Todd Filling would contact the property owner and invite her to the next meeting, which was done. So you did not vote on it. You just discussed inviting her. So that the content tonight. was a good memory. Mm -hmm. well, it helps when you type the minutes up and yeah. then you review the minutes. And They have an issue with it. They do have the right to a hearing. Yep. So. So it's not the end all, but correct. yeah. I'll make a motion to uh, send the letter as drafted. Step down, second it. Any further discussion? <coughs> all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Um, yes. Yeah, this has been going on since last. Since I started here, yeah, oh, well, I mean, so that was last year. August. So I, I yeah. think it's mm. it's time. Are we going to probably change the date then? Yeah, we'll have to. Yeah, okay. that's on the yeah. The guy is going to line this up too. So. Okay. okay. Yep. Well, we can toss that. Just let us know when we sign. Yeah, we still need another signature on it anyway. So yep. yep. Okay. You could sign page two if you want it. If you want to do that, but we can stop them. Yeah, I'll have them all set for you guys for beginning of the week. Mm -hmm. Signatures with that. Well, that's for mm -hmm. this. And I mean to go back, I mean they applied for the tight tank. Things have changed since that was applied for as far as the regulations go. So mm -hmm. if that went through, most of this with the exception of the that language about the water usage and pumping would have all applied. So mm -hmm. I, I don't think in any way it's unreasonable of a request. I would agree. All right. Uh, next item review discuss and act well permit application. So if you remember at our last meeting, we had a couple wells that had come in, and um, one of them was fine, the other one had lead and arsenic in it, right. and the discussion was having them retest it. Mm -hmm. um, I guess talking to the, the developer, talked to the well company, and they said a lot of that stuff, as you run the well, kind of goes away, so they suggested just testing it again after you know, the basically test it from the tap once sure. you're, you're done. And if they need to put an infiltration system, that's what they're going to do. Okay. So that's where that was. But we have our um, our well test application that we had been working on and mm -hmm. we were using. But the discussion came about what we should be testing um, for. It's not just portability that we want to add to that portability test. I don't know if this wants to be tabled to our workshops for discussion or you want to talk about it some now. Um, I will say that um, one of the things that DEP has recently come out with is that if you have a, a public place, like a, a church, mm -hmm. and you have a well, you need to be testing that well annually Correct. to make yeah. sure that the water's pouring. Anything over 59 days, it's a public water supply. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so anyhow, so like these are Berkeley's regulations for what they want tested for for new construction and apparently that well test for all that stuff is over a thousand dollars. Yeah, well, I, so unless we have some chemical spills that we don't know of, the VOCs and the COCs. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot there. Yeah. But um, I like the portability in arsenic. Checking for arsenic. Right, because this here is the standard portability <laughs> from, from the, what DEP wants. I think I think arsenic is a decent one. Mm -hmm. But and obviously, some of this is going to fall under our regulations, but we'll, we want it on the well application also. Not that I can't ask for it now anyway, but that was a sample from somebody yeah. else's. That's not. I was just taking a peek at that. That's why I do all the, these things, just to make sure. Yeah, I guess we can, because we can all have a, we can discuss it further, but um, personally, I like the portability and uh, added arsenic as well. I, I like the arsenic. So. Yes, Mr. Chairman. I can tell you that there have been several wells in this town that have all tested positive for, for arsenic. So we seem to have um, Berkeley more, as well. more than normal higher percentage of, um, you know, that it's, 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 it's found in, in the water. So, and it can be treated with a water mm -hmm. conditioning system. It's very expensive, but it can be treated. So I think if the board were to consider adding it, it would be warranted. Take, take this list and add arsenic onto it. Okay. And then it all has to be, because it's a regulation and everything, it would have to go in, so we'll add it to it. But I would suggest, or yeah. I mean, 
we don't need to make it a motion, but this list with arsenic, I think that okay. would be sufficient. All right. I mean, if, yeah, if people on their own want to do extra, else? that's fine. Yep. But, um, you know, it's just definitely Especially the basic stuff. Especially because we identify some stuff. Right. Oh, we've seen it. <clears throat> is, if you don't mind, is this well application you're referring to associated with a building permit? That's, okay, so I don't have any problem the inter-department communication, if you are apt to approve it and we can have it retested prior to the issues of a studio of occupancy, yep. that's fine. Yep. They can do that. And that's what I, we, I do at my other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If it fails again, then they have to yeah. do treatment. And, yeah. you know, and the treatment system location. will have to be put in and, yep. and then The inspector gives me yep. an application and he says, do you have any issues with it? Whether Right. Are they gonna, are, is the garage going to go over any of the right. components? Whatever it is. Right. And then if anything with uh, well testing, I'll just say, I'll make my little note. Yeah. Uh, arsenic has, must be retested before any occupancy. Right. And that yeah. stops it there. Yeah. On a regular Title V, automatically you send out that letter notifying that that owner has right. arsenic in their water. You need a retest before any, any occupancy, yeah. any new occupancy. And you already have that working relationship with that individual to get that done. Yeah. And this is, this is rudimentary in most towns, but we have a prevalent amount of our properties serviced by water. So we don't put many wells in anymore here. So, okay, that's fine. Good. Next day in review, discuss an act to revise marijuana regulations. Uh, I did revise them for going through everything at the last meeting. This, this is from Mallory. So these incorporate all the changes we discussed at our last board meeting. Correct. Which was all the changes that was... Well, most of them. Yeah. Yeah. Not everything. The ones we felt were... From the committee? Relevant, yes, from the committee. This is the correction you guys had talked about that night. Okay. And then this was the um, she. cannabis committee's recommendation. So I don't know if you guys need this, but I do have a background. Did we see a guidance that was uh, sent down maybe from the state, somebody from Slackman's office? And it looks like everything that or most of everything that would be under the Board of Health jurisdiction is covered under the regulations we have here. Um, so. so is the next step to send it up to town council? So I would say if you want we can take a vote to send this to town council and we should hopefully have it back by our next meeting, and if things are all look good, then we can put it out to here. That would make sense. So I have a motion to send the draft regulations uh, to town council. Say yes. it all yes. out. <laughs> <laughs> so I, thought I, I thought I said it, but so move. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Step down second. You know, Any other discussion? But all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Yeah, they should turn around pretty fairly quick, I hope. And, uh, I think so. The last few things we sent for <coughs> a couple of weeks. If we get them back, we put on the agenda. If we don't, then we'll talk over. Okay. Um, last in the roll business review, discuss an act recycling program. Um, I've been in, uh, had some correspondence with Kathy Merza regarding mm -hmm. the rigid plastic. Um, she had given me a list of vendors. Um, and I call the, the closest three. Um, so far I've reached one, and they've already wanted me to buy. How many containers do you want? They just want to go, go, go. I, uh, I told them uh, I'd like to talk to uh, Mr. Ferry and find out exactly what he has for containers already, and just kind of pick his brain of what the operation looks like before I get numbers and then move it, uh, present it to the board. The other two um, establishments haven't uh, gone back to me yet. so. Still doing a little bit of homework, and I'm gonna again. I'm gonna reach out to Mr. Ferry and just kind of find out because with the grants that we can apply for moving forward next year, mm -hmm. uh, we can get those containers. Mm -hmm. But if we have, if we start soon, or just say we we already start, um, 
obviously they're going to want us to get containers unless we already have some. So we have to work out that. So I'll talk to Tom and then report back to the board. Okay. Do you want those? Authorized expenditures. And then the totals. Okay. And then the backgrounds there if you want to do the payroll. Do you have to sign these? Um, no. Okay. Yeah, that's thick. <laughs> We haven't paid it yet, it just came in. Um, um, it did go up, but it's not near the 117 that it was. DP is allowing, if we were to get any of the uh, that grant money, they are allowing any <coughs> amount over $50 a ton grant money can be used to subsidize it. Oh, good. Yeah, I, so, town has to cover the first 50 and then. I mean, obviously, once my gone, it's gone, but it can be used to subsidize. That was the DEP solution. To and when, does, when could you apply for that grant? That was one that ended in the um, middle of June. Oh. Yeah, it's funny because when I, I was talking to Kathy Marzo, she's like, What are you paying again now? And I told her, She's like, Oof, That's pretty high. She's it's so crazy to, high. To label. It's not going to get better either. How does this one work? Does Tom sign on these? Or? No, you don't have to sign those. Those okay. are just nope. copies of the signature line. But that's just showing you what yeah. was paid. So the, the bottom payroll and expenditures, that was what it was for the month. So we usually just read, read out loud what the, the total is worth. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Do you want me to read out the no. payroll was uh, $6,967.48 <laughs> and the expenses were six thousand seven hundred forty seven dollars and eighty one cents. So you want to read it first, sorry out of it. No, no, that's fine. Yeah. There we go. Uh -huh. Inspectors reports. Well since we met, let's see we've had two people bitten by raccoons, both being treated for rabies because neither raccoons could have been caught. One was reported the day after, so even if I wanted to catch it, there was no way I was going to. And the one that was reported the day of at Lincoln Village had already gone. So they were both treated as for rabies, and we're treating them like they were rabid, because we have to, because we can't prove that they're not. The first one, kind of hinky sorry, so I'm not, I just think that was she, the woman tried to shoo it off her boat, and the raccoon of, got her. Kind of cornered. Yeah. Um, the second one came up behind the man while he was sitting smoking at Lincoln Village and bit him. So oh. that one, you know, <laughs> so. A little more questionable. Right, a little more questionable. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of reports of, oh, dogs are outside, it's hot, that kind of thing. Um, chased a pig last night, got out of, jumped out of the back of somebody's trailer on William Street. Uh, <laughs> got a pig on the trailer. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's about it. I had somebody call. They're looking to purchase land. They're looking to put up a stable. Um, we talked through it. Looks like if she gets the property, that's um, what she's going to do. It's nice when people call first instead of going and getting the property and then going, how come I can't? So, and a lot of wildlife calls. And for some reason, groundhogs are making their way into people's, between people's sidings. Aquaria has one that's dug a hole that they've had to shut off all the electricity to Aquaria to try to get it out of there. They've gone wild too. I don't know what's going on. The heat. Mm. So. Interesting. Huh? Interesting. All different kinds of animals. Interesting. I've, in my lifetime, I've never seen more groundhogs than I've seen right now. Yeah. So obviously there's an explosion. There's a lot of them. About what, two living behind their office? Right. Mm -hmm. well, At I, least. I, yeah. I'm so, about, I'm about turkey. Yeah, we've got yeah. Yeah. yeah, and groundhogs. Being being a building guy, groundhogs actually can be very very destructive because they tend to go for the softer dirt that surrounds your foundation when they make their burrows and their, their dens and tunnels. So 
obviously that can undermine the foundation and cause issues. So, although we all love animals, if you see a groundhog, I want to trap it, relocate it, do whatever you need no, to do. No, you cannot no. trap it or relocate it. It's oh. illegal. Oh. Well, you need, to have, <laughs> you need to have a trapper or somebody that's, that is Shoot. trained to do that. Um, just I just, I had to, well, I had to, just concentrate. <laughs> 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 I had to send somebody to concentrate because it's illegal. They were going to catch it and remove it. I said, you can't re relocate it. And the other thing is, the other day, I had a red-tailed falcon fall out of a tree on, 40, on William Street, um, broken wing and head trauma, so ended up, I had to take us. I was in the room taking it to Tufts because nobody around here could euthanize or could hope it because it's a protected species. So on the way it passed away, but that was kind of an interesting. You don't hear about that too often. No. Yeah. The only thing we can think of is when it fell off the branch, the branch hit it in the head. We don't know. So. Interesting. Yeah. And I had somebody. Um, just because you see a fox doesn't mean that it's rabid. Somebody had heard Middleborough or Freetown was having problems with a rabid fox something. Middleborough. 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 Okay. Rabid foxes. And they thought that the one at the down on Main and Water was also a fox. And they saw it in their yard. And they took care of it. But it was all baby. So the chances of it being rabid was nil, just about. So. Please call before you take do that kind of stuff so we can make a assessment and we're not taking unnecessary steps. steps. Yeah. 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 I've never seen raccoons in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Todd? Yeah. 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 Um a few things. Uh, this came through from the zoning board. It's an amendment to the Pines Homeowners Association Trust. So I guess it was amended. It's been signed by the developer, and it's been signed by the Zoning Board of Appeals, and it needs signatures from the Board of Health to, um, to do it. And Tom's already signed it, so I just need your two signatures on it. But it's just an amendment to the document that's already in place. It took a while to get to us. Gotcha. It started in May and it just came on at us like a week ago. For the association, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> um, so at the transfer station, we have a couple, few people who have bounced checks um, when they went down there. So. Roz and I kind of kicked it around a little bit. We talked it over with Tom Ferry, what we would like to do. Um, we don't need to read anybody's names, um, but this is a, a sample of the kind of letter I want to be sending out to these people. Basically, it tells them, pay your fee plus your $25 bounce check fee, pay it by the end of the year, or else you don't get a transfer station sticker next year. That's fair. And littering is a fine. That that's not in the letter right now, but but it is. Does the board want me to add that into the letter? Meaning, if they don't dispose of it, probably. Would you mind? I don't care. We could probably say uh, proper disposal of all items is uh, necessary or, or whatever. So. Fines will be issued for illegal dumping. Sorry, I did not catch all that. Proper disposal of all items. Is required. No oh, Alice's restaurant's going on here? No. no. Sawing Alice's restaurant? No. Anybody? No. No. You're all on your own. Yeah, I'm us. <laughs> wow. I have no idea what you're talking about. Totally. People at home know what I'm talking about, so. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully some Failure of to do so will result in fines. Every Thanksgiving, they play the song on the radio. What? You can get anything you want at Alice's restaurant. No. Oh, I thought you meant. No, no, no. no. Yeah, my yeah, song. We have Alice's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's Alice's
So behind that is the bounce check okay. and then the invoice. So I just assumed Excellent. like that documentation should go out with the letter. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna revise that now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. add that to it. And and have all okay. those yeah. ready for Spring you guys for Monday too. Yeah. All right. Um, we have a whole bunch of these reports in our office. I only brought one with me. Landfill. We get them annually. Um, twice a year. I was gonna say biannually. I would like to start asking for them to submit them electronically instead of paper, sure. and we can save them to the computer electronically. I would like to scan these in and keep them electronically because it takes up a lot of space in our files, and I don't see the need for them to be paper copies. These cool. are just annual reports. This is not, you know, a public hearing notice or anything right. like that. So well, yeah. there, but we've got enough file of papers on our files right now. So. Yep. And, and we now have a scanner that can scan this entire thing in. So and that was just required as part of the closure. So if the board's okay with that, that's what I'd like to do. Yeah. They'll, be, they'll be happier if they don't have to print that's it. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and uh, the selectman's office used to deal with um, trash bags, mm -hmm. selling trash bags, and sharps. Mm -hmm. We now are taking care of the sharps. It has been relocated over to our office. We have. Mm -hmm. we're, we're working our way through it. We had to clear out a drawer. This is one of the reasons we haven't had time to work on stuff. We had to empty out file cabinet drawers to make space for all the trash bags because they need to be locked. And we've got all the sharps and stuff too, and we had to make room for that stuff. But um, we have come up with um, what we're going to send. It's going to be posting on our website that what people can get. And I guess just tell the list. Oh. Not everybody. Jim doesn't get them. You could see the uh, draft if you'd like. No? So the, uh, this was the one that was on the website. Todd found it was already on our website. It's like, oh, wait a minute. This information is not mm -hmm. accurate. Mm -hmm. So we took it down, and then we drafted this one to post. But we wanted you guys to check gotcha. it out. Make sure, see if there was anything you wanted to add. <clears throat> What's funny is now that Berkeley has found out about this, now their health agent has reached out to us to see about information for this program. So, that's the address. One 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 one. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, the building inspector had some power over the address of the. Actually, that was given before me. Uh, was it previous? Yeah, it was previously. No one knew what it was until I did some digging, but that's what it was. It took a while for the post. That's not actually the container size being sold. No, it's yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. the is <laughs> I was going to say, because I was hoping <laughs> my uh, shop can fit in there. Um, what am I going to do now? I think that's, I think that's good. Okay. Yeah, can you know that it's enough? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Absolutely. Yeah. So for the public, uh, the Board of Health Office is now selling shops. I think we announced this at our last meeting. We are also selling trash bags. The Selections Office is no longer selling these items. People are coming to Town Hall and they're being sent somewhere and people are having a hard time finding us but so it's the town hall annex which is just in front of the lions pavilion yep use the rear entrance lower parking area get your trash bags and sharp it's a nice space. space come see it so we're say we had to get a cash box and stuff it was just a lot of logistics that we've been fighting through for this um, mm -hmm. other than that we've had a slew of perk applications coming into the office and um been doing a lot of trying to schedule that and such. And um, it's both repairs and new construction, but it's getting very busy on parks. And I think that's what all I got to report. I do have one more thing. <coughs> As of July 3rd, apparently, the leash law was passed. I went through the AG and it came back. I was never notified. And I, I I'm assuming the Board of Health wasn't either because everybody I talked to goes, I didn't know that. So people have had some reprieve, and we haven't sat down yet to discuss exactly how that was going to work. Okay. In the fact that, okay, if I pick up a dog, the first one's a warning, but to get your dog back, you need this, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. So we need to discuss that maybe at the next meeting, exactly how we want to do that. Um, so until we do that and we announce it, you have a little reprieve on the, on the leash law. I was waiting for somebody to let me know, and I was told... Somebody said, oh, the legal law hasn't passed yet. And Brett says, oh, yes, it has. And I went, really? <laughs> yeah, we're, none of us knew. Now you're going to kind of figure out what works best for yourself. Right. Well, there's got to be, the, uh, there's gotta, I do, points. I yeah. do, but, you know, there's got to be some kind of, if, if I pick up your dog, it needs to be 
you know, it, it has to have a cow tag, it has to have a heart rabies vaccine, and if I pick up your dog on a Friday and you can't produce either of those, they're going to have to stay with me until Monday, which means now you pay boarding fees. So all this stuff has to be discussed and how we're going to do that. That really worked out because... Yeah. So next meeting? Or is that... Next meeting. Yeah, we can table that. Come back to meeting. Yeah. Well, not table it. No. Not table it. That was actually really yeah. fast. It was. Well, that's what, I, that's what I... I wasn't the, expecting to come back till. Early would have been August, end of August. When the Ag Commission and the uh, and the Right to Farm passed, I went, oh, right. well, that's that's fine. I just assumed that was it, and that's what was posted. Right. Until somebody says, oh no, somebody said something about the leash line. Somebody says, oh, it hasn't passed, and then Brett pushed it and says, as of July third, it passed, and I put, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I know. So we do it had to go through the AGA vote. Now we have to discuss. Oh, sorry, Jim. Oh, no, no, thank you. I, I apologize. Thank you. I don't have anything. Thank you, though. Appreciate you be, being thoughtful. <laughs> uh, subcommittee updates. He's up he just walked two minutes upstairs. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we can go to approval of minutes while we're waiting for him. Oh, yes. <laughs> Got a few here to approve. Yeah. Oh, there. Did we get the two? I didn't. Oh, sorry, can I All right, I have. Minutes from March 28th, 2018, April 11th, 2018. I'm sorry, these are all regular meetings. Uh, regular meeting of April 25th, 2018, and May 9th, 2018. Have you had a chance to look at them? Yeah, I took a look at I make the motion to approve the meeting, the four meeting minutes of uh, March. 28th, 2018, April 11th, 2018, April 25th, 2018, and May 9th, 2018. Done, second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So, so he signs uh, or you all sign? Thomas um, or? Vice <coughs> Chair will sign. It's you. Same. Top or bottom, wherever you want. Maybe, so. Your you preference. Oh, that's right. Right. <coughs> I can speak a little bit about stormwater while Tom's busy. Um, we did. Just anyway? Yeah. Yep. Um, <coughs> educational <coughs> outreach. So we ha are in the process of ordering the reusable shopping bags next mm -hmm. allotment and um, also more of the grippers. The, um, they're in the process of coming up with a seal. They're going to put the town seal on the bags this time. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more of a process, but um, the marketing company is going to send us the seal, and then um, I'll send it out to the stormwater committee. They'll approve it, and then we can get those ordered because we've got a couple of events coming up with the arts festival, and there was something else that Nancy wanted to attend that she would want to hand those out. As soon as PP is back in session, we're going to see if we can get them. Um, we still have plenty of handouts, but we wanted them to come up with some kind of like a cartoon coloring thing for kids. Nice. So yeah, so th there's a few things in the works, but we haven't had a meeting. This is all kind of just going on behind the scenes at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I was just filling them in on um, getting the bags and the grippers for mm -hmm. stormwater that we actually haven't had a meeting that we're you know kind of just doing behind the scenes things at the moment. but. Emergency preparedness, same thing. We're kind of on summer. Yeah, we break. weren't doing anything for a couple months in there because everybody's been away. So, I just, just this one real quick. I forgot about the little, just a little tough one. I would keep myself with that. Oh. oh, we did have one more thing. I forgot. I was going to tell you, I was looking at another meeting, I did accuse myself. So I one more thing under the health agent report. It's at a department head meeting last week, last week, <coughs> um, town administrator That's math. That's right. is looking, 
she's asked everybody in town, uh, all the town departments, to basically tell her where we think we're going to be in five years, ten years. And what do you want to see? You know, um, for example, the things that we've got is we want to have credit cards in place. We want to have all the files scanned in. You know, but it's more than just that. It's a matter of we want to have twenty people on staff. We want to, you know, whatever it may be. So. She wants this by Christmas, so we've got some time to put it together. So it was the idea of if you've got thoughts right now, I say Roz and I are going to start to put together what we see for the future. Um, and just to give her some kind of idea of where we want to be at. So obviously, we'd like to have our meetings in the new meeting room over there. That'd be nice. Yeah. Um, credit card payments. Yeah, credit card would be huge. Online. Um, but so. Permits. But I mean, life's pretty good, but it's still a matter of. We can always make things better, of course. You know, the animal control, I think, might have something <coughs> that she might write on her list for where she sees herself in five years. But Even that permitting software, it looks pretty good. It does. Because once you hit, you did it, you did it, that's it. Yep. It goes out to the person. So, right, so online permitting software would be another one. Because um, yeah. you're doing three, how, how, how many are you doing for the uh, uh, system repairs? Two or three. Two or three what? So, uh, inspections. The open hole, the, bar, um, the final. And the final, that's it. But we want to add final grading onto yeah. that list. So it would be three. So anyhow, so think about it. If you think of anything, even if while you're thinking about it, just text it, call, email, whatever, and just send it over and say, hey, I thought of this. And obviously, we'll talk it over before we finalize anything. But we'll start putting it in like a memo to her. So. Um, so that was that. That was all I had. Anything on emergency preparedness? Again, summer schedule. We didn't. Yep. We met in June. We're not meeting until like August August 30th 21st. Or something. I'll yeah. see you there. Okay. <laughs> You'll be there. Yeah. Why? Under Bristol now. That's right. Oh, with the coalition. Oh. Yeah. You, so did you get invited to the meeting in Berkeley? You did, right? Yeah. We always go. We used to always go to that one. They supply lunch. They do. <laughs> That's like a fail. But you weren't on the list. It's the regional EP meeting with uh, Denny, um, our yes, coordinator. A, That's a Berkeley Town Hall on Wednesday, August 29th. It's the craziest thing because I'm in Plymouth County and I'm part of you guys. Well, You're Stoughton like, had three one, people yeah. on the list and Stoughton's Norfolk County. Yeah. I, I can forward it to you. And then maybe you can reach out to her. And I don't yeah. think she's not. I think he's part of. Uh, the other panel. You know, who do you have? You have Denny? Uh, I don't know. I'm just starting. to find out. Because <laughs> yeah. you might have, I forgot, I don't even know her name. Because the people place. on this list, there were three from Stoughton. Kevin, D. Macedo from Freetown, Derek Macedo, Heather Gallant from Taunton, yeah. um, Berkeley Board of Health, obviously, and Beth Collins. And that's it. That's it. Well, that's right, you have a new email address now, don't you? I do. <laughs> You can send it to my own email, but. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah no, that's they fine. Haven't but shut for that this. Off yet? Is that town dot radium? Yeah. Dot MA. And then, yeah, you can reach out to her. Yeah. Then you fail. 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 Yeah, fail. So, yeah, it's right here in Berkeley, which is great. It's easy to get to. So, okay. so we. we we're seeming to be having a pretty good relationship with Berkeley for working stuff out because the veterans agent does Berkeley and Dayton also. So this, this, we're starting to get some more back and forth. So you're going or is it going to be Beth? We're, we're both going to go and Beth. Okay. As long as it's allowed. So. It's a tight room. So you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Small. It's the conference room. They could probably room. move us over to the meeting room if they had to, but mm -hmm. yeah. I've seen conservation meetings in there with 10, 12 people, so. I don't know. We'll see. That's what's funny. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything uh, yeah, I just got to find out mm -hmm. if you're a part of it. Who's your planner? Who's your planner? This is one dollar. You've been there for like three days. How do you not know this? <laughs> it's either Denny or. But Amy's gone now. Then. Amy's, yeah, Amy's in that. Uh, yeah, so it might be Denny because it was Amy. So it's probably Denny now. So she would know at least. So. Yeah. I still don't know why Denny had three people from Stoughton. I thought that was weird. One of them was Larry. It's Larry, his assistant, and uh, the, the, the clerk. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Larry doesn't show. Five years. 
I have one. A field assistant. Oh, you said that. you want to be a field assistant. <laughs> we, get, we, we get a surf safe. She's come out on a surf safe. See? Oh, you can go run into a food inspection? I could. <laughs> I saw the look. <laughs> <laughs> do you want her home? She said she wants to do park tests in the rain. That's what she wants oh, to do. Oh, yeah. In the snow. And, yeah. Get that one approved by the union. <laughs> They're overrated on days like this. Oh, man. I was <laughs> trying to find shade anywhere I could go. <clears throat> Parasol. A little easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correspondence? No. You could have this done in an hour. Oh, the, just, you know, the <laughs> Conservation Commission meeting was supposed to be tonight. Apparently, it get canceled and it's pushed to tomorrow night. So there's nobody coming in this room after us. So we can take as long as we want. That was what those two ladies uh, were looking for. Oh. <clears throat> oh, announcements. The only announcement. And we've kind of already gone through it. That was um, from the selectmen's announcements, and the only thing was that the. Yeah, I'll read it again. Uh, just a reminder that trash bags, sharps, and recycling <laughs> stickers are now for sale at the Board of Health Office, not the selectmen's office. And the Board of Health Office is now located at uh, 1111 Somerset Ave. It's the former Grange Hall. That's the town hall annex, and that's in front of the uh, Lions Club Pavilion. And it's going to be the lower level and use the rear entrance. That's uh, Monday through Thursday, 7.30 to 4.30. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Good. Motion anything to else? adjourn. I was going to ask you if you had anything else. Oh, no, I don't <laughs> have anything. I thought they were done. Right. I don't have anything else. Nope. I'm Stacy. Yeah. Good. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. After 54 minutes. I'll step down and second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Good night, Titan. Good night, Cable. Yeah, I'll just sign those when you're. I, I'll have everything. I remember ready. seeing it and I was like.